Okay, welcome back to the uh, final segment of the HP Vertica End User Conference. This is SiliconANGLE, Wikibon's The Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante, uh, founder of Wikibon.org, and also Jeff Kelly, big data analyst from Wikibon. This is the Wikibon SiliconANGLE, The Cube. Guys, day two is in the books. This is a wrap up of the show. We're here for two days, live in Boston, talking to George Kadifa, the leader, Colin Mahoney, uh, general manager of Vertica, and we heard the most comprehensive software vision from HP, I think in the history of HP, uh, in, in a long, long time, really comprehensive, open, and somewhat complete vision, in my opinion, of HP software direction around big data, analytics, operations and analytics. This is the new future modern infrastructure for HP. Saw a lot of network management in there, or somewhat like network management-like stuff, but it was more just basic management, analytics. This is, this is the real deal. Um, Dave, I want to get your thoughts quickly around day two and wrapping up the event. Um, good showing by HP, George Kadifa. Uh, amazing interview, I was really impressed by his candor during a quiet period, although we didn't talk about the performance of the company, more about the product vision. Clearly a command of uh, the industry. He is not an exec that uh, uh, is mailing it in. He uh, hasn't taken vacation, he told me off the camera. He's been working to close the quarter. He's talking to customers. He knows his product stuff and great vision. What's your, what's your thoughts? I, I think, um, I was just talking to Colin Mahoney. I, I, I said, if I were you guys, I'd be high-fiving right now. I mean, this is a great first conference. Um, Jeff Kelly, it reminds me a little bit of the enthusiasm around the MongoDB days down in New York City. A lot of passion, a lot of practitioners, a lot of people just really excited about what Vertica and HP are doing. So uh, the difference between the, you know, the MongoDB days is that was a little raw, you know, startup, you know, this is, this is a more mature audience. There's more, more you know, broader use cases. I think it's a more enterprise. And uh, I think this is, it underscores that we're starting to see the adoption of all this big data stuff, the Hadoop you know, integration into the enterprise. Yeah, I would agree. I think uh, clearly uh, they're, you know, being able to draw you know, half, half the conference here is customers. So being able to draw 350 customers in, in basically the middle of summer uh, to your first user conference is pretty significant. Um, the types of customers we saw, you know, it, there were some some of the smaller uh, software companies that are using Vertica to really power their uh, product development uh, and really use analytics to inform how they build their products. Uh, but there's also more traditional firms. There's insurance, uh, retail, um, financial services. So you know, I think I agree. It's certainly a much more enterprise uh, focused, much more enterprise heavy audience than what we saw at Mongo. Um, but you know, part of that is, of course, that you know, Vertica has been around since uh, 2005, as we uh, talked to Shilpa, really the number three employee at Vertica, uh, who came on earlier today. Really, the uh, the brains behind the uh, the technology itself, um, along with this Michael Stonebreaker and some of the other early uh, founders of the company. Um, but really, they've had a, a bit of a longer uh, time to to find their footing and really uh, develop the product. You know, if you compare it to something like Hadoop and some of the other big data uh, technologies that are more in, still in that evolutionary phase, uh, we, you know, companies like Vertica have got real customers in production that are doing some pretty advanced things, uh, and that was on display this week. So uh, it was a great conference. Again, really focused on customers as well as partners. That was the other uh, thing that struck me is the number of partners they've had, they have here and the, uh, the, the amount of focus in terms of the keynotes and some of the other executives talking about how important the partner ecosystem is to Vertica if they're going to, or to the entire organization of eight, that is HP, that is, if they are going to really leverage and take advantage of this big data opportunity, John. Yeah, and I think, honestly, you know, one of the things that uh, gets me personally excited is that you know, when we started this uh, Silicon Angle four years ago, you know, we said cloud, mobile, and social, and all of a sudden big data whipped up and, uh, swept up on the scene and was our fourth pillar cloud, mobile, social, and big data. Obviously Gartner's now validating that. This is clearly the, the, the strategy of the marketplace. I would add that HP has put in security. So HP's messaging here is cloud, mobility, security, and big data. And I think they're really not talking social so much other than external public data, and they're calling that big data. So you know, I think social is going to kind of fold under big data because it is kind of a social dynamic. It's, either, it's just either data, enterprise data, or public data. So I think you know, cloud, mobile, and social is really going to be cloud, mobile, big data. And I do agree with HP. You add, got to add security in there because the big data analytics, one of the main benefits is the, is the analytics for operational analytics. And I think that's one of the things that gets missed in a lot of the hype and a lot of the reporting is that big data is great with Hadoop and all this changing all the businesses and all, but ultimately at an operational level, 
handling threat and fraud detection and all kinds of security uh, breaches is, is an analytics game. It's like chasing down uh, you know, the bad guys, so that's key. Uh, Haven and the ecosystem, really core. Uh, compute, social, agility, creativity, personalization, moving data around, these are all the themes here, but fundamentally, Haven's their architecture. This is fundamentally, again, probably one of the most comprehensive uh, visions I've seen from HP uh, and George Kadifa. Hats off to him and, and, and props to HP Software for really having a comprehensive software vision. And more importantly, the customers were voting with their feet. Sold out conference, um, not lightweights. Um, these guys have chops and some of the, people, the companies I, I talked to here, I was very surprised where they worked. I'm like, you worked there? Wow, um, those are big names. Those are names that don't need to work with HP, but they work with HP because HP's got the best product. And that is testament to HP. And obviously, the traditional enterprises, the ones that rely on HP as customers were here, and they're all smart. So that, that is exciting for me, Dave, and I think that's something that's exciting so for now, HP. So now, just to sort of want to have a little dose of, um, you know, I want to temper our enthusiasm just a bit. It's like Bill Parcells, who just got inducted into the Hall of Fame, and say, uh, let's not put him in the Hall of Fame yet. He used to say that around, you know, some rookie. The Software Hall of Fame, in this case. Um, so, HP has a lot of work to do in its software business. It's a $4 billion business, which is a tiny little fraction of HP's uh, overall enterprise business, overall business, period. Uh, it's got a, uh, a legacy business that's under pressure, uh, and it's got this huge opportunity in front of it. So George Kadifa and his team has to manage that transition. Like many parts of HP, the software business might have to shrink in order to grow, and that's okay. So I think that the things that we want to watch are number one, the continued adoption of, of Vertica and, and HP's ability to sell Haven. So we heard a lot about Haven, but really you know, customer adoption around Haven is going to be critical too, is their ability to thwart the competition who, can, who will hammer them. You know, given, I mean, HP's been an easy punching target lately, and I think that's starting to change. You know? I mean, HP is really starting well, to get its act hold together. Hold on, Dave, I want to just interrupt you for a second. Okay. You know, I'm not doing handstands that HP's got the best software. Uh, you don't have to, let me just finish. So, so, so then the third thing we have to have to watch is is you know is HP going to be able to innovate at the pace of some of the startups that we see? So I, I understand, John. We're just I'm just trying to give you my other perspective. You know, play a little. You know, let's do a little analysis. Yeah, put here, a wet so. blanket on the on the hype of how great Verdict is. No, but seriously, HP software. If you go back 10 years ago, I mean, it was software was kind of an add-on to existing HP hardware deals, and it was almost like a cost center. <laughs> I don't want to say it wasn't, no, officially, it wasn't officially it's a cost true. center, it was actually it was for sort of profit. It was dispersed and embedded, you're Yeah, they had Mercury Interactive, you had some good stuff all cobbled together, but they weren't a software company, and they're still not a software company. However, software is now blurring in with hardware, and they still are a hardware company in the sense that they do make compute. And we heard Kadifa say is, infinite compute, infinite data, is going to drive a boom in software and apps. And so what they're saying is, we recognize that and want to enable that. And I will say, HP's always been an enabling company, and that's a positive thing. So, so you said, you just said, HP's not a software company, and I agree with you, but don't, do, you, do you agree with the following statement? HP has to become, at least in part, a big part, a software company. Well, yeah, I mean, hardware is software, but it's, it's wrapped in hardware. No, I mean real software. Well, they look like I don't one. mean like, oh, EMC says, oh, you know, Brian, we have Brian Gallagher, and all engineers are, are <laughs> okay, and with yeah. all due respect to Brian, those guys, it's not sell hard uh, software, they're selling hard. He looked like, walked like a baseball, wore the uniform well. HP is wearing all the right. So I do agree with you. So I'm excited for HP because of the first years, this is a comprehensive software strategy, developer ecosystem channel, they're leveraging the channel, but it's not a divergent change off their business. So that's, a, that's what I was referring to. So it's not like they're pivoting to a software company. They're evolving fast into a software company and adding it onto hardware that's ultimately going to be commoditized and enabled. And Kadifa's comment about Amazon, agreeing with Randy Bias. That's a testament to someone who knows what he's talking about, saying, hey, Amazon, hey, if they want to commoditize the infrastructure as a service, God bless them, it's just more compute. There's still got to be choice. If they want to, what he didn't say was, if they want to lock in platform as a service, that's a whole different lock-in strategy. So we've heard that from customers. The platform as a service is innovative, but this lock-in. So again, infrastructure as a service from Amazon is a lot different than PaaS. HP doesn't, doesn't, doesn't mind about that. They look at that and say, hey, we have compute too. 
Um, and they're going to put Moonshot in there. I don't know if you recognize that comment, David. That was yeah, very interesting. Yeah, you picked up on that. I didn't, but, but I, I picked up on what you said and then thought back, and that's interesting, so. They're looking at this, and what I was excited about was, we always talk about the modern era of computing, and what Kadif is doing, and when I say he walks like a baseball player, in, in, the, in the red metaphor of Billy Bean, is that they are ultimately doing the right moves in terms of the view and the vision of, of software. And the, the modern era of computing is one of apps, APIs, one of scale, and speed and agility. And that's ultimately what they're talking They're not trying to lock anyone in, they got the openness. So that's kind of my point. Jeff, your take? Well, uh, you know, I agree with what you said. I think one of the main challenges is going to be um, you know, keeping true to that, to that uh, commitment to being open. Um, uh, that's key. I think you know, selling software is certainly a different business than selling hardware. I mean, right now, you know, in their last quarter, uh, only about 20% of their software revenue was represented by Vertica and Autonomy. The rest is really associated with their software, associated with their hardware. Um, so if they want to build out the Vertica and Autonomy um, uh, revenue streams, you know, that's, they've got a long way to go there in terms of really building that out into a, a, a significant viable business where they can be considered a true software company. But that said, um, the other challenge is really, uh, we've heard about the need for application developers, really to, for HP to engage those folks to really build those big data applications that are going to sit on top of Haven. That's really the last mile of, of big data, delivering the analytics, the insights uh, to the end user so they can actually make better decisions. So they've got a big challenge there to uh, really uh, engage that community um, and really get developers building applications on top of Haven. Um, you know, and I think, you know, finally, the uh, managing the partner uh, ecosystem is going to be uh, another area where they've got to pay very close attention. They've got, um, you know, there's a lot of moving parts in this big data uh, world. There's a lot of different uh, competing interests, uh, a lot of co-opetition. So, you know, as they move forward with uh, different companies that they're partnering with on the visualization side, on the Hadoop side, et cetera, uh, kind of managing that uh, optimally and actually uh, picking the right bets, if you will, and really partnering s uh, in, a, in a smart way uh, that, that's going to be an area that I'm going to be uh, keeping an eye on as they move forward. So any final words, Dave, before we wrap up here, HP End User Conference? Well, I think that as we've talked about in theCUBE a lot um, here and on SiliconANGLE and Wikibon, we are seeing the evolution of Hadoop from you know, what is it to how do I use it to it's got to become enterprise ready to the big guys actually putting wrappers ar around you know, Hadoop and big data. And I think that this next year and a half, two years, we're really going to start to see the pace of innovation go very, very quickly. And I think it's going to come from two places. One is the large enterprises spending a lot of money on this stuff, or large enterprises, you know, vendors, I mean, um, and, and their customers adopting. And then I think the second is we're going to see a new wave, a spate of innovation coming out of the startups. A lot of the guys that have been funded, and I just think we're, um, we're no longer in the, you know, the, the top of the first. You know, I think we're getting into the game and uh, it's getting interesting. Guys, this is a great uh, event. We had a uh, total of 251 people we've identified tweeting about the event, so thanks to all the folks tweeting, thanks for watching, uh, thanks to the crew here, uh, Kenny, Alex, and uh, Mick, and the team. Uh, appreciate it, and all the folks back home, Mark and Hopkins and everyone else, um, Kristen Nicole and our whole team, Stu Miniman, everyone else watching. Thanks for watching, this is the HP and Vertica End User Conference at SiliconANGLE Bunch the Cube, wrapping up here. Uh, stay tuned for our next event on theCUBE. Follow us on Twitter at theCUBE, at SiliconANGLE, at Wikibon, and uh, thanks for watching, uh, good night. <laughs>